nostalgia has a big place in my heart and that's the reason why I got these shoes right here because I never had it and I always wanted it. I'm gonna hop in with it early today, so if you're new, make sure you like and subscribe. Today we are going over the Air Jordan 5 in the burgundy colorway. As you can see right here, this is a different box, yo. This isn't like any other five box that I have. I think that usually just has a jump man at the top. Depending on the color of the shoe, it'll have that different dump, jump man. So this is definitely a new box. Weird box, but new box. Air Jordan 5 Retro SE for Special Edition, Deep Burgundy, Light Graphite. Size 13, Big Feet Gang salute. You know how I do. I've waited like 16, 17 years for these. Bro, I'm so happy I finally got them. They just might be better in hand. See, one of my best friends had this in high school and I didn't. And he dogged them. And when you don't have a shoe, you always are just regretful about that. You're just like envious. But now I got them and I won't dog them. Watch me probably never even wear them. Even though they're perfect for the fall. Opening up that box, you'll see this paper, paper, and then when you get past that paper, this is as perfect as the fall shoe can possibly be. Like, look at the colors. Like, I'm one of those people who says, like, burgundy, navy blue, you know, olive green, wake forest green, light gray, dark gray. Those are, like, my fall colors. Brown, tan. This hits for sure. As you can see, this is the burgundy fives. Back when I was in high school, such a long time ago, Jordans came out with a lot of fives. We had burgundy fives. We had green bean fives that came out early in the year. We got olive fives, or what I call vomits, that comes out in 2024. We also had black and university blue fives, which I call chambray fives, just like chambray sevens. And I don't know if I had any of those back then. And metallic fives, I think, came out then, but I have a pair of those. That's the only pair I think I ever had. I always wanted burgundy fives, and I never had them, and I'm glad they're back. This is one of those shoes that like, if you saw them back then, you want them. And if you didn't, then maybe it holds no space in your heart at all. But to me, this is fire. Cause I don't think I ever recall an all burgundy Jordan at all outside of this one. Maybe some number past 17, but who cares about those? And maybe later on we got like sixes or something in, uh, in this color. But for real, only thing I remember even remotely close to this colorway was like maroon sixes. Fives aren't one of my favorite numbers, but I obviously enjoy them. This shoe has an all suede upper with some accents, and I think that's why this shoe costs the price that it costs. At your quarter panel, the midsection of your shoe, you can see this mesh clear stuff that I never know what to call it. It's not like ripples or something. It's like guts, neon guts. This is to give more air and support inside your shoe, or maybe the circulation of air. So your feet don't smell like Frito Lays. On the back of your shoe, because it's not an OG, there's no Nike there, but you do have a gray light graphite jump man that go along with the gray that you saw on your quarter panel. A silver 3M tongue with a burgundy jump man in it as well. Those same mesh riblets are there on your tongue. And then you can see that you have gray laces and this little pacifier lace lock. They should have a jump man on it. Does this one not have a jump man on it? This one does not have a jump man on it. Sometimes you can see a little jump man on this. It's not actually on this actually lace lock right here, but it's on more of the pacifier plastic pulley part. That's weird or different to me. Behind your tongue on a five, it says Air Jordan, right? And this is in white and burgundy, but behind your fours, the Air Jordan's upside down. And I don't get it because behind the fives is just regularly there. You get a gray sock liner that go well with the rest of the light graphite. As you head towards the midsection of your shoe, you're greeted with gray speckled sharp teeth. And on the back of your midsole, you'll see that white clear area. Finishing off your shoe, finishing off your shoe. A half translucent outsole with Jumpman right there, with a Jumpman right there, and Jordan there as well. This is clean. This is one of those shoes that's kind of bulky and I would dress up like it's a dress shoe as opposed to wearing a boot or a dress shoe. I would do that. That's just me. I guess I'm an athleisure wear type of dude. Plus I'm a retro S kid. You dig? You're hurt. Like I said, this is an all suede upper and because of that, the price is definitely reflected in that. These were 225 MSRP. They're going for under that, but after fees online, you're probably paying $225. You can probably get this maybe $5 or $10 lower at your reseller if they stocked up on these, but they would be smart to hold these for years because it took me forever to buy this one. I didn't want to buy the older pair because I thought maybe something would happen with the sole. 
because they were so old. Plus, they got the beer gut, so it looked different. I'm glad that I got a clean outsole pair of these. Mwah. But I think that if you wait and you don't wear a size 13, you could probably go around and get these for like a buck 80 or buck 70 when Nike has some random restock of a bunch of shoes that just sat. If you stop raising the price, maybe we would just buy them. But most people or smart buyers will wait until they go on sale. I just don't play around with retros that I want in this, just like playoff eights or ones that I wanted for this year. True to size, even though when I wore my Aqua Fives after wearing them, I realized they weren't as comfortable as I maybe thought Fives were, but they're still a nice shoe. If they wanted to give me a monochromatic version of this in other fall-esque colors, like Wake Forest Green, or like navy blue, they actually come out with a navy blue pair, or like a dark gray pair, I would cop. Let me know in the comments below if you're banging with these, and if not, it's all good. This is definitely different. This color might even be on some grown manish type thing, or grown woman type thing, or grown everybody type thing. But I'm banging with this. This is the annoying stuff that like a Commanders fan would wear with a Sean Taylor throwback jersey. R.I.P. Sean Taylor. I just don't bang with the Commanders. You dig burging all day. I think I have on my Howie Roseman Street Cash on me. Sure. You dig? But if you wanted a grade for me, you know it's a 10. We only got it's a 10. I've been waiting for 17 years. And this is the next video. I'm going to holler at you. Bye. That's if you don't want to tell me that you don't give it a 10. Like, if you want to tell me you don't give it a 10, okay, then I'll holler at you now. But, I mean, I've been waiting. Patiently waiting. They're so clean. So clean. I'm going to get all the fives next year, too.